I think I'm gonna lose my job of building out Becky's van. So me and little Monty, Monster, have now arrived at the Adventure Overland Show. We're just coming up to the Marshalls now. Destination is on the left. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna get put over there. Sorry? I saw you stopping for me there. I must have some good looks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, that, you're desperate. Okay. I want your money off you. Oh, you're recording even more. I definitely want you. Oh, you're not... yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, you're recording me for YouTube? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Is that all right? Yeah, perfectly. What's your name? Chris. Hi, like Chris. <laughs> ambulance Chris. But I'm not in the ambulance at the moment. It's broken. Hey, it's nice. gone to the doctors. Oh, I see with COVID Carl. COVID Carl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can put that on as well. So it's just 10 quid for you extra night, mate. Oh, right. 10 quid. Carl didn't say that the power tenner. Part and parcel of the fun, it's called a surprise. Oh yeah, there you go. What Carl's not told you, I'm getting the tenners back later, we're splitting it with him. <laughs> right, you know where you're going? No, I ain't got a clue. Right, straight over, a little bit up the hill, turn right. Oh, well then, cheers. That was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> up the are. You know I'm going to get lost, right? Slow. Right, if you go to the left hand side, up the end. top of the hill, up the hill. I'll radio car and I'll meet you up there. Thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate it. Uh, gate through the car, gate through the Hey! Shaz and Daz! Yes! <laughs> you alright? Welcome right? to my world! How you going? <laughs> I found that, thanks to you. Good. Yeah, I've got to go up here and meet Kyle, apparently. Oh, there he is. Thank right, you I'm you off. See you later. See you later. Oh, Carl, how are you going? How are you doing? Good to meet you. Right, I'm going to give you a choice. What? I'll put you over there. Oh, I'll put you right there next to him. No! <laughs> yeah, right close. Get in there. Some banging music. As long as he passes T through the window. There we are at Stratford upon Avon Adventure Overland Show. One of the main reasons I wanted to come to this show was to see contour van conversions. They're bed is something else a lot of you have seen my bed video wait until you see this you are going to be impressed becky is really impressed and she's actually thinking of installing this system in her new transit so i'll hand you over to tom and tom's going to demonstrate how great this bed is it's is fantastic take a look at this take it away tom uh, so this is our uh, topo 180 sofa bed uh, 180 centimeters long for a short wheelbase traffic vivaro uh, transit custom transporter um, the bed just slides out like this and you use the backrest cushions to fill in the mattress there and then to put it away you just slide it back in like that but the clever bit is that you can lift these tops up as well so you can chuck a, a sup or a sleeping bag or whatever you want in there that's, that's how you brilliant. can see the, uh, the mechanism Do you do these to order? Yeah, we do. We can ship them anywhere in the world. Uh, prices start at eight seven five. It's cheap, uh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you're underselling yourself, mate. Honestly, you're underselling yourself. And you make all these cabinets as well? Yeah. Yeah. So we make modular uh, furniture units that people can configure into different layouts. Uh, we mainly do units for this size van. We're starting on uh, bigger vans as well, like sprinters and uh, relays. Yeah, and we can ship most of the uh, pieces of furniture. It's about fifty pounds, fifty to sixty-five pounds within the UK, and uh, about eighty pounds for Europe. As well. That's brilliant, isn't it? That's brilliant. You like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's going to put me out of business, I think. <laughs> I think I'm going to lose my job of building out Becky's van. Tom's going to be taking over. <laughs> and then we can get the big van and get you to come and do the big van. All right, sounds yeah. good. <laughs> so this is the, which is called the Navi Kitchen. It's the simplest setup that we do. Um, it's designed to be used with a portable hob that fits in this drawer here. Um, and you can keep a gas bottle in the cupboard below. And we've put a little notch in the shelf here so that you can keep those connected via a hose and lift them out and go and cook outside without having to disconnect everything. That's brilliant. And then we've got a couple of 12 litre water containers in this area underneath the sink. Um, there's a leisure battery and fuse box in the far corner there that you can access via a little hatch on the back. 
behind the driver's seat um, and then some little storage cubby holes on there and we make all these square so that you can then uh, scribe the sides of them to whatever profile the side of your van has so again this will fit um, traffics with ROs, transporters, transit customs, uh, any van of that sort of size. That's fantastic. Look at the quality of this. Let me take, look, take a look at the quality of these switches. I love this little switch panel. I know it's only a little thing, but it, it's the little things, the little touches that really do make a big difference. We, we make um, all of this out of like one sheet of oak veneered plywood as well, so you can see the grain of the oak goes from the side nice. panel and then through the work top. Yeah. It just oozes quality, that's all I can say about it. Fantastic. Ben. No problem. Good luck, mate. I yeah, wish you all the luck. You. And we will definitely be in touch Great. when Becky decides on the layout she wants on her van. Yeah. She's got a few little extra things that she wants to do. Yeah. The massage couch. She's got to try and yeah, fit yeah. a massage couch in there and everything else. And all the pa paraphernalia. <laughs> and also room for me as well. Yeah. Well, we'll do our best to help out. It Thank you, like buddy. Good really appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Cheers. And you know what the best thing about this is? made in Britain. Now me and Becky had a fantastic time at the Overlander show and what made it really special was the amount of people that come over and said hello and, and took the time to say hi. It was so nice to meet so many people so thank you to all of those people that came over and said hello to us and had a little chat with us. Unfortunately the downside of that is I didn't actually get to film much more than what you've just seen but nevertheless meeting so many people really did make it a special weekend. Now the weekend almost ended in disaster on the way home. Take a look at the footage from my dash cam. Now that was a real close call. How I managed to stop and not hit those two deer is beyond me. It was an absolute miracle. I mean, I really slammed the brakes on. You can probably hear in the background the brakes squealing as I came to an almost standstill. Really close call. So the following day, I thought to myself, I wonder what would have happened if I'd actually hit those deer. Would I have been covered by my insurance? So I went onto Sterling Insurance website just to check my policy and see you know, if I was covered. Because when something like that happens, it really does make you think and realize that things can go terribly wrong, terribly quickly. And Rebecca's just brought a brand new van and she's insured with Sterling Insurance as well. So I thought I'd just get a quick look to see if I am covered. Now whilst I was over on Sterling Insurance's website, I noticed they're doing a GoPro Hero 11 giveaway, which is the camera I'm using right now. Also, they're giving away Amazon gift vouchers as well, and you don't even have to ask them for a quote. All you need to do is enter your details to be entered into this free draw. And this is open to anyone. I will leave a link in the description of this video to Sterling Insurance's website. So head over to Sterling Insurance's website for your chance to win a GoPro Hero 11. As you can see from that little clip from my dash cam, things can go seriously wrong, seriously fast. So you really do need to make sure your pride and joy is properly insured. Thanks for watching this video, I'll see you very soon. Stay safe out there, ta-da for now.